Yo, hello again, everybody. Welcome to the channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome aboard. So we have a easy trick, but a pretty falling one. Just because you use a shuffled pack of playing cards. It's a shuffle deck. This can be a borrowed deck of cards. And I have taught this before, and I think quite a lot of you may have missed this effect. If you've seen this already, my apologies, because I have been scrolling on my YouTube channel and thinking, right, that's only got about 100 views or, I don't know, 150 views. When it needs more, a lot more of you guys need to see these effects, what you're missing. You might have watched nearly all my videos, but you might have missed this one. But you might have seen it. I don't know. So let me show you what the trick looks like. Okay, so let me show you what the trick looks like. So yes, it uses a pack of cards. The cards can be shuffled as much as they possibly like. And it is a real shuffle. Okay. And what's going to happen is I'm going to make a prediction, okay? I'm going to take out one prediction from the pack. If I can find the card I'm looking for, I'm going to take this one right here. I think it's, yeah, it's this one right here. I'm going to leave it to one side so everybody can see it. And if you had your spectator here, you would deal the cards on the table and they would shout the word stop anytime they'd like. So let's say they shout stop here. You're going to turn the cards face down. And don't forget, the spectator has just mixed these cards up as much as possible. You went through the card, you took one card out, placed it on the table. Then you turn the cards over, you dealt them, and they could shout a stop anywhere they wanted to. And we're left with these two packets. You ask your spectator to choose either packet, packet A or packet B. Let's say they choose packet A. So they turn the card over, which is a 10 of hearts. Which is good, because my prediction, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact the 10 of diamonds. It's pretty cool. Like, don't forget, they did all the shuffling. They shot us up anyway they wanted to, and we got a perfect match. Not just that, though. If we actually spell 10, T-E-N, that's a 10 over here and another 10 over there. How crazy is that? This is super easy to do. There is no sleight of hand whatsoever. All you have to do is be able to spread the cards and take a card out. That is all you have to do. So let me show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so this is the tutorial of the trick. So yes, it uses a pack of playing cards. And before we start, you give the cards to the spectator to shuffle, which they will as much as they possibly like. And when they finish shuffling, you're going to tell them you're going to take out a prediction card. And what you're going to do is spread, not from the face, but from the back, okay? And, for example, we've got an ace. Whatever the top card is, that's the card you're going to use. So I'm going to spell ace, A, C, E. I'm going to drop these cards in my left hand, while it's just spelled ace, and place them down. I'm going to carry on spreading from the back till I find the next ace. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I found the ace of clubs. So what I'm going to do now is pick everything up. So from the ace and everything at the back, pick everything up and place that on top of the first three cards you just put down. Then you're going to close the spread and then you're going to look for the first ace what you come to and up jog that ace so i'm going to come and have a look we've got an ace here so i'm going to up jog that ace and then i'm going to carry on spreading until i find the last ace so what i'm going to do now is pick everything above that ace of spades okay i'm going to place this on top of the deck i'm going to remove the prediction card and place it to one side and then the remainder of these cards on top that might have seen a lot of work but trust me when you do it at speed it just looks like you're looking for prediction so we're gonna go through that again so the card is shuffled and all you got to remember is two cards from the back two cards from the face that's how you want to remember it so we have a look 
you're going to spread from the back. We've got a 10, okay? Ignore the suits. So we've got a 10 here. So we go T-E-N. Pick these three cards up and place them face down. You're going to carry on spreading till you find your next 10. So you're going to pick up everything. So all the cards behind the 10, place them on top. You're going to close the spread. So that's two from the back. Now two from the face. So you're going to spread till you find your 10. So I've got a 10 here. I'm going to upjog the first 10. I'm going to carry on spreading. And you can see my last 10 is right here. So I'm going to pick up everything behind or behind the 10 of spades. So everything behind it, or should I say above it. So everything above the 10 of spades is going to go on the table cards, remove your prediction, place that down and the remainder on top. So you might have to do that a few times just so you get the hand, the, the, the rhythm of it. But after you've done it a few times, you should be absolutely fine. So now you've got your prediction, you're going to pick the cards up and turn them face up and you're going to start dealing them down on the table. And when you pass your two cards, so obviously mine are tens, when I get past the two tens, I ask the spectator to shout the word stop. So let's say we shout the word stop here. You turn the cards over, or face down, shall we say, and you ask them to choose a packet. So if they choose the big packet, the bigger packet, you flip the top card over. If they choose the small packet, you turn your prediction card over. Okay? So let's say, for example, you choose a big packet, you turn it over, we've got a 10. You show your prediction is a 10. Then you spell 10, T-E-N, place this packet, so you're making like a square, and turn them over so it looks like you've cut to the four tens. So I'm going to do that again, but at speed, so you can see uh, how it works. So... I'm going to spread, I've looked, so I'm going to look for a, a, a prediction card. So I may choose probably that, yeah, I'm going to choose this card. It's that fast, okay? So now I'm going to, look, I'm going to deal the cards face, uh, face up, and any time you like, just shout the word stop. Right here. Beautiful. So I want you to choose a packet. Would you like the packet A or packet B? Packet B. Okay, so before we go any further, my prediction is in fact an ace. If we spell ace, A-C-E, you have one ace here, one ace here, and one ace there. Do you see how fast it is? After you've done it a few times, you will, but like I said, if you're a complete beginner and you're new, watch it back how I teach you very slowly, and I'm sure you'll get it. But what if this happens? Uh, let's do something like this. Just I'm trying to make it awkward for myself. Uh, let's do this. So I spread the cards. And obviously, I can't use the aces because we've got an ace here and the ace here as well. So it wouldn't work. So if you're ever in a position where you've got uh, the same values really close together like this, and the top three or top four, it's not going to work. So what you do is just cut the cards, give them a shuffle again if you wish, and a cut or whatever. When you spread, it's an ace again, but it doesn't matter. Then you carry on and do the exact same uh, routine. So let's say shuffle them again. It doesn't usually happen, but we're going to do it one more time, very slowly. Queen. So as well, with the numbers like seven, you can just count seven, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or spell it. But with a queen, I'll just spell queen. So I'll go, Q in my head, I go Q-U-E-E-N. Queen. Pick all these cards up, place them down. Carry on spreading from the back. I found the next queen. I turn that face down on top. I carry on going. I upjog the first queen. Have a look. I can see the, last, uh, the queen second to the top. So I just take the top card, place that on top, take out the prediction, Everything goes on top. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not going to finish the trick off, but hopefully everything I just explained makes sense. And that is the tutorial of this very cool car trick. Okay, so that is another video in the bag. 
Yes, it is a pretty cool trick, you have to admit. From a shuffle deck, you can perform a miracle like that. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to be able to do is spread through the cards and count or spell, but that is it. Like I said, if you're struggling with this, comment down below, or if you want to have a jam session in Discord, get onto the Discord and we can sort out a jam session. I just really want to get this Discord working because I want to talk to you. I hate talking to this camera. I hate it. You don't understand how horrible it is sitting here, looking at a camera, doing this when I could be talking to you guys. So if you've got Discord or if you haven't got Discord, download it on the App Store, add me, click the link down below and say hello. Please, please do. But yes, don't forget as well to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.